With Manhattan real estate amongst the most expensive on the planet, designers of New York's hippest performing arts center came up with a genius space saving solution. In 2012, an ingenious new development is underway to create America's largest private residential development in history. Called Hudson Yards, it's being built on a huge new deck created to sit above an enormous railroad storage depot. Despite a very modest footprint of 17,000 square feet, the building also has to be able to take big crowds when needed. It's a big ask for a tiny space. But not to be put off, the architects come up with a radical design they call the shed. Really a tale of two buildings. One half will be a permanent structure built onto one of the skyscrapers. 115 feet tall, this section will house eight floors of permanent exhibition in performance space. But here's where the fun begins. This part will be completely encased in another structure, a huge steel shell that despite weighing 4,000 tons, will be able to move out across the piazza, instantly doubling the size of the building and creating a 17,000 square foot multi-use performance space complete with climate control and state-of-the-art staging systems. It will be an incredible building with the ultimate flexibility the clients want, but also needs a big leap of faith. In 2015, work gets underway on the fixed half of the shed. This is the easy part. It's built using a tried and true steel frame construction method, permanently fixed to the concrete slab. But then comes the hard part. The team has to figure out what they're going to build the 4,000 ton outer shell from and how they're going to make it move. Even for the most experienced engineers, it seems like a crazy idea. The next big engineering challenge is designing a completely unique wheel system that will run on these special tracks and spread out the massive load. With the six-foot wheels and oversized tracks in place, the next challenge is designing a system that will move the frame back and forth across the piazza. It needs to be powerful enough to move the entire structure, but also not be visible at ground level. Their solution is to hide the motors up in the roof. To make the motors move the frame, they turn to the tried and tested rack and pinion system. The next challenge is to create a weatherproof shell that's strong, lets in light, looks amazing, but also doesn't weigh an ounce more than it needs to. So when it comes to the glazing, the team turns to a cutting edge material rarely used in construction. Ethylene tetrafluoroethylene, or ETFE for short, weighs in at one hundredth the weight of glass. 38 months after construction began, it's a big moment for the engineers behind this groundbreaking building. April 5th, 2019, there's first night nerves as the shed finally takes its spot in the New York limelight. It's taken three years of bold engineering to build and cost $475 million. But now this theatrical masterpiece in motion has finally arrived on the New York art scene. 